Hi friends, welcome back to Calm in the Chaos Homeschool. So today I wanted to share with you some resources that I have been looking at to talk about elections and government and civics and things like that with my kids in this upcoming school year as well as future years. So I have two curriculum resources here to show you as well as a few books that I've picked up to cover this subject with my kids. If you're new here, my name is Davine and I homeschool four kids who are in sixth, seventh, eighth, and ninth grade this year. And I have been on the lookout for election government type resources for, a, I don't know, a year and a half maybe. And so here are a few things that I've found. Before I get too far into this, today's video is a collaboration hosted by my friends Stephanie from Schulte Sweeties as well as CJ from Homeschooling Through High School. So there will be a few moms who are joining in on this collaboration and they will all be talking about election, government, civics, resources. And so if you're looking for curriculum or books on topics like that, you will want to check the playlist in the description box below when you're done watching this video. Okay, so I'm gonna push these over to the side here. And I'm going to start with this. <laughs> so this is Build Your Library, Election 2024 Unit Study. This is a new resource to me. I have never used a Build Your Library unit or study or guide, and I've always been curious about them. And Emily Cook, who is the author of Build Your Library, she recently, maybe a few months ago, she put up a video giving some resources and things for elections and government and things like that. And that's how I learned about this unit study. Now, the reason why I picked this up was because I've been wanting to do a unit study with my kids, but time is running low. I don't have a lot of extra time in my homeschool, so I don't have time for something really long and in depth. And so when I saw this, this is a three week unit study. I knew I could squeeze it into my homeschool, probably take a month or two to complete it, but that was why I wanted to pick this up as well as getting to know Build Your Library for the first time. I'm going to probably blur some of this because this is a very short unit study. I don't want to give anything away that she wouldn't want given away. So I'm going to be blurring some of these things out. So we have an introduction to Build Your Library curriculum. We have about this unit study. This is a multi-aged elementary level unit study that covers the American election process. It takes approximately three weeks to complete. So it says your child will learn about how the American government works, how the electoral college works, why we have a two-party system, and more. They will research the two presidential candidates, color a map on election night as each state's votes are counted, learn 23 vocabulary words, complete a writing project, and more. You can easily combine children of various ages within this unit study, but the target audience is upper elementary age students in the 8 to 10 age range. I have labeled the optional books in the book list with a Y if they are appropriate for younger children. Now, as I mentioned before, my kids are 11, 12, 13, and 15, but we have not covered anything like this. And I just wanted something short and easy to complete. So that is why I picked this unit up. Even though they aren't in the target range, we're okay with that. There's always so much we can learn from various levels of information. So first of all, we do have the required books here. I am going to show them to you. So I do have those. So those are these three books here. I got them all from Thrift Books. You can see the stickers there. If you have never been to Thrift Books, I recommend you check them out. I have a link to Thrift Books that if you use it and you sign up for their reading rewards program, you can get a free book as well as I would get a free book. And really, Thrift Books is one of the first places that I go to get used curriculum or books, which is usually how I'm looking for books. So these are the three that this guide uses. So see how they run. Campaign Dreams, Election Schemes, and The Race to the White House. And so it just has three books here, and so it shouldn't be hard to go through. Here's the table of contents. 
and I'm just going to flip through a little bit here so you can see the format. So to me, this looks like just the right amount of information that I want to have my kids learn before the elections. I will link links to all of the books that I mentioned here in the description box below if you want to take a further look. But this is what this book looks like. So I really, really, really like the level of the content in this book for my kids as an introduction to elections, <laughs> considering it is coming up upon us pretty soon. So that is one of the books that she recommends. The next one we have is What's the Big Deal About Elections and Vote? So a smaller book here. You can see very simple pictures. Should not take too long to read through this book. Goes through the basic, looks like the meanings of vocabulary and things like that. So I'm actually <laughs> really excited about getting into these books with my kids. And then we have Madam President, The Extraordinary, True, and Evolving Story of Women in Politics. Now, I do want to let you know that this unit was created before the current situation. I don't think that it has anything to do with the current candidates who are running. This is just talking about notable women in government history. So this is just another very simple book. Okay, so it looks like I have a little introduction here. And then they go through some women of note throughout history. So that should be a fun one for especially my girls to learn about. So a bunch of those here. Okay, so those are the three required books for this guide. Now there are optional books here. I'm probably going to blur them out just because I don't want to give away too much information and some helpful links. Also probably going to blur that out just so I don't give away too much of this guide. All right, so then we have some writing project ideas and an additional project. So writing project ideas, create a new political party. What's your main platform? What will you name it? Write a paragraph about this new political party. If you ran for president, what would you change about our country? Pretend you are campaigning and write a speech that you might give. So there's a few writing project ideas here. The additional project is a blank US map to fill in on election night. So I will be showing you some of the included resources here. So this is what a week looks like here. I'm going to show you just week one because like I said, I don't wanna give away too much information here. Okay, so we have some reading from See How They Run. Looks like about six pages, four pages, four pages, something like that. What's the big deal about elections? We have two days of reading there, about four pages each. Madam President, we have about 10 pages, 12 pages there, and then a few pages on day five. And then we have some vocabulary for each day, and then we have activities, and there are activity sheets that come along with this guide. And then they have more of a different way to show you. So we have key ideas. So when you're reading it, it tells you what the key idea is. So see how they run, read pages seven to 15. Key idea, the history of elections and a basic overview of how government works. And then Madam President, read pages three to 13. Key idea, first ladies, Abigail Adams, Edith Bowling Wilson, and Eleanor Roosevelt. Okay, and then we have Vocabulary, define these words on the vocabulary pages and they're in the guide, Congress, State, House of Representatives and Judicial. And then the activities to discuss what are the duties of the First Lady and complete the branches of government activity. So that's day one. So that's just an idea of what happens during one day of these lessons. And so that's a five day week. And then I'm gonna stop there. I'm not gonna keep flipping through these, just like I said, I <laughs> don't wanna give away too much here. And then in the back here, after I flip through these first three weeks, we have activity pages. So there's some basic activity pages. We have vocabulary words. So my kids each will have a booklet with these activity pages in there. So they'll fill out the vocabulary words. There's those that we have branches of government, comparison of political parties. So taxes, national defense, education, healthcare, social security, environment, immigration, gun control. 
So between the Republicans and the Democrats, we have a coloring page here, animals and politics, first lady research, and then some copy work talking about the presidential requirements. We have presidential candidates here. And there's only one of these, so I actually photocopied two for my kids' book so that we can go through both candidates and then write a summary telling why you think they would make a good president or not. More copy work. And then here's the electoral college map. And so that is the unit. I really like how short and sweet it is. I like the look of these three books just in the content level. I think that'll be very doable to be able to complete that before the election starts. So that is my short and easy unit that I want to go through with my kids before the election just to get a basic understanding of how the electoral system works. Now, if you wanna get more complicated, that's where this one comes in. So this is the one that I was hoping to do, but I really just can't get to this in time. My kids are too young for it. So this is Guest Hollow's Government, Economics, and Personal Finance Curriculum. So obviously we're talking about government this video, but this is definitely a high school level course. And honestly, I would say more of the upper high school is probably when I would prefer to do this with my kids however exciting it is to look at. So if you have seen Guest Hollow's curriculum before, I'll just do a quick, quick overview here. I'm not gonna go too in depth, but it is a very comprehensive curriculum that has tons and tons of information, tons of video options, book options, links, YouTube videos, and it's just so integrated. Like these three topics are gonna be very integrated together. And yeah, so I'm very excited about doing this. We're just not ready for it and we do not have the time in our schedule at this point. So government economics and personal finance. So we have a book list here, a bunch of books that you could do with your high schooler. And they do often give like two options so you can choose what would work for your family as well as not expecting you to do everything. We have a supply list here for activities. There's often many, many activity options. More about the course here. And then this is sort of what a week looks like. So it's going to be, I'm pretty sure, a 36 week. Let's see. I got my printing got off here. Yeah, 36 week curriculum. Every day will have a lot of options. They have an online textbook. So the textbook is online and available to anyone to use. They have integrated videos within the textbook, which makes it just much more interesting way to do a textbook. They have a workbook that goes along with the textbook that you would have to purchase with the guide. Then they have like all these, we have books to choose from, different books that you can do, possible activities. We have a bunch of YouTube videos, full length videos. Yeah, so that is one week here. There's more reference books and things like that. So it's very comprehensive and I would say it is at a higher level, so high school and up. So this is a course that if you want to go in depth with your child in high school into government, economics, personal finance, this looks like an amazing course. I can't wait to get into it with my kids. All right, so that is pretty much the two that I have. And then I'm just going to show you some additional resources that I have picked up based on some suggestions by either either Guest Hollow or Emily Cook's Build Your Library. So this one is mentioned in both. This is mentioned in both the Guest Hollow and the Build Your Library. And I actually heard about it in the, no, it's not, it's not recommended in this elections book, but she recommended it in her video. So this is History Smashers, Women's Right to Vote. Originally, I was probably going to just put this in my morning basket and do it but i might have to pull back on that because we just have a very busy year up ahead of us so it is mentioned in here i might just save that for when we are going through this for reels so i'm going to save that there but that is but that is this book here looks like a good book and then we have you call this democracy and this was a book that emily cook from build your library recommended actually the rest of these are all books that she recommended they just looked really good so I picked them up. This is definitely a higher level, something I might put in my morning basket or schedule into a government 
unit when we are doing it with my older kids. So we have that. And then we have true or false, a CIA analyst guide to spotting fake news. So this also looks like a really good, oh, got some receipt in here. <laughs> a really good um, high school level book to be going through. Just important to know how to do that. And then this one is a little bit on the lower end. So we the people, the United States Constitution explored and explained. So this might be something I might put in my morning basket this year just to get through. Look at this table of contents. It really goes through the Constitution, the amendments, the articles. And so this might be something that I just might want to work my way through this year with my kids. This is what it looks like. It's not a DK or an Usborne book, but it does have that look to it. So that is this book here. And so I do not know if there is going to be obvious bias in any of these books. I have not yet read these with my kids, but I guess we'll find out as we go through and we can talk through it together. But that is another just really interesting looking book. So these are the resources that I currently have for studying elections, government, civics, things like that. I hope this was helpful to you. I hope I gave you a good idea on either some short unit or a much longer year long unit you could do with your kids in the upper levels. I hope that you're able to see something you like here if you're looking for these sort of materials for the upcoming school year. If you like videos like this, don't forget to give me a like and subscribe if you haven't already. I have a lot of videos, flip throughs, homeschooling tips and tricks, and just come along with me as I'm planning my homeschool year, as I'm actually going through my homeschool year. So thanks so much for coming today and I hope to see you all in a future video. Bye everyone.